Hey, what's up guys? What's up? So earlier today, I'm um, in the middle of working and earlier today this dude asked me, what do I got to do to get into that business, the business of driving? You know, he was a forklift driver. He was unloading a pallet that I was delivering to him. So he said, what do I got to do to get in that business so I can drive? So this gave me an idea for a video. Um, as a lot of people may not realize what steps you gotta take to become an owner operator so step number one is to buy a truck that's the first thing you gotta do um, I myself I own a 2005 Freightliner M2 I bought it pre-owned so it had like 211,000 miles on it uh, I paid twenty thousand dollars for it. I oh, know it was more like twenty, twenty-one and a half, twenty-two. That's not including financing or anything. So step number one: buy a truck. Step number two would be to decide whether you are going to do business uh, with a as with a fictitious name, or if you are just going to use your name as your business. Um, and the reason why you have to decide that is because when you register your business with the county where you're going to be doing business at or where your business is uh, located. Uh, in, in this case, you know, uh, I'm a driver, so I had to register in the county where basically my business headquarters, which is it was just another way of saying my home address. So you register your business and they're going to ask you if you're are going to be using your name or if you're going to be using a fictitious name fictitious name just means if you're going to name your if you're going to have a fancy name for your business if you are then you register you, you pay your forty dollars they give you a form you fill it out and they give you like an official stamp and you're you're good to go forty dollars gets you a fictitious name um, second step you want to do is going to be to apply for a CA number and the way you apply for a CA number you just go to the highway patrol website which I believe is chp.ca.gov and you download a form for a CA number this one doesn't cost anything you download the form you fill it out and you mail it in in the mail then once you get an answer you get it once you get once you get your CA number in the mail you are then gonna apply for an MCP which is a motor carrier permit now this one you will need to pay it costs the price can vary depending on the size of your fleet and the, how many miles you drive and all this other stuff but this video is for people who are just getting started. Like I said, this is what you got to do to become a owner operator. So most likely you're going to be starting with one vehicle and you're not going to have any employees. You're going to be the owner and the operator. So you're just going to, so basically you're going to fall under the first category on the MCP form, which is about $250. So you're going to mail in your filled out form with your $250 check and then in about two weeks you will receive your ncp in the mail now one thing to keep in mind is that everything with chp is done over the mail there you can't email it you can't apply and submit online you can't fax it or anything like that they only use the or at least it, this was true two and a half years ago when i did it you can only use the mail so one thing to keep in mind is when you fill out these forms, try to fill them out to the best of your ability, not leaving any empty spaces or, and then just double check for grammar or make sure you didn't misspell anything. Uh, Cause what happens is if, if they find a mistake on your form or if something's not very clear, what they're gonna do is they're gonna mail it back to you. So you're gonna receive your whole packet in the mail and they're gonna highlight some stuff, circle whatever needs to be updated or corrected and then you're gonna mail it back to them. So you can see how this, this could take a while if you keep making mistakes on that form. Um, when I did mine, it took me about a month because they mailed it back to me a couple times. Um, so just 
keep an eye on uh, on 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 the spelling and and everything else make sure that when you mail it it's 100 percent complete and uh once you get your mcp in the mail you're pretty you're pretty much good to go so three things that you need you need a truck you need a ca number and you need a mcp once you got all those you can legally start hauling for buddy you can start hauling on on the california highways all right i hope this video is able to help somebody out there who's thinking about becoming an owner operator or maybe somebody who's just been wondering what they got to do to get started from uh, owner operator to another over and out